But first, we have a very special treat. This guy is the world's greatest magician. David Copperfield, when he was 12 years old, went to his summer camp specifically to get not only the free t-shirt, but the picture with him at his magician summer camp. He's been quoted as saying that this man is the world's greatest magician. Give it up for the great Santangelo.
Jersey, I'd be doing like fabulous water truck. What do you mean, height wise? Let me put it to you, trunk right here on the stage. The trunk will be tanked together with me in it. I'll be taking it after the Hackensack River. So I'll come down there. We have a bus outside. I'll be dropped into the river. I'll have to come down there and watch me die. <laughs> CDs and T-shirts. I don't have any of that. I don't sell pantyhose, <laughs> socks and handkerchiefs. I'm over there laying our signs for you. <laughs> How are you doing? Where are you from? Who's from Brooklyn? Ah, who's from Buffalo? Ah, let's here. Let's get some life here. Ah, come on, man. What's the matter? Let's get some life in here. Ah. The same old crap every week. <laughs> What am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing. Come on in. Oh, there's nobody there. I'm starting to see things. <laughs> I... <laughs> you know, they say when you die, your life flashes in front of you. What if you have Alzheimer's? <laughs> I don't know, it's just a thought. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> nice looking people here, yeah? nice looking girls. Look at these girls here. Yeah. I like the girls with the Cleveland show. I said a lot of Cleveland is here. No, but why can't a guy walk around with uh, one testicle hanging out? <laughs> what the hell, man? There's nothing wrong with that. It's shame you put some cologne on it. <laughs> Cute little red bow tie. <laughs> Walking to the club, nice suit on, look great. See the girl you like. <laughs> nice, nothing wrong with that. Just pick it out, it's nice and clean looking. See the girl you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a nice three with that too. Hey, somebody who the hell knows? Nice. Twenty years ago, I used to chase the girls away with a forty-five. Now I need a forty-five to pick them up. <laughs> Get in the car. We're going for dinner. I'm picking the restaurant. Yep. I ain't with poor girl. That outrage. Right second marriage didn't work out. But was it my third? I remember I went to a marriage counselor and he said, you gotta sit down, talk these things over. What? You don't like it about each other. We sat down, I think we were there for eight weeks. I know the stuff down. But I am looking for a girl. I know what kind of girl I want. I don't want to make the same mistake again. But for a 16 year old, retarded, Polynesian girl. Somebody who appreciates a glass of water. The hell with the presents in your dinner. Here's your water. Ah! <laughs> Someday, maybe I'll get lucky and find that girl. <laughs> you know, great body on it, over the little. Ah! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. You're wrong with taking care of him. Just for a little shit. Oh, geez. I even got lost getting here tonight. I actually passed the place. I went all the way around the packing sack street. What the hell was I thinking of? You know, too? I mean, it was a guy in the colleges who gave me directions. I mean, I asked him how to get here. Yeah, I know where to go. 
Jego szajtana tu ma. Jego taka szarko. Jego taka szarko make a right. You see right after that there's a blinker. It's going to be a split in the road. And the holiday is right there. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Fingerton. Isn't that silly? It's a stupid ass joke. Not a stupid job, but the come up to you when they ask you for money and they don't play an instrument. Does that piss you off? Do something. Blow a bubble on any goddamn thing. Tell me to have a cup. I like scaring them away when they come up to me. Get a drink there. Have a cup there or whatever. whatever. Huh? Just, uh, be careful drinking. Drinking's not fun anymore. Drinking was fun 20 years ago. You go out now to happy hair for hours. No more happy hours. Ten people there. They all lost their license and the bicycles are parked outside. <laughs> hey, when I arrived home, I cleaned up my old swing. It's got the banana seat on it. So be careful, you know, when you're driving. I was talking about New York. I got, I got distracted. Yeah, I got distracted very easy. I was like that in school. I was always distracted. Very easy. Huh? No. You know, what was I talking about? I was distracted. <coughs> what was I? Big tits. No, no. I'm looking for, uh, my, uh, I'm getting older now, I'm looking for a very, a type of a girl that's very fragile. You know, like, uh, I test them out to open the jar. If they can't open the jar, that's the one I like. I hate the girl. Good to kill me. Now I'll get that jar. No! Christ, forget about it. No, but talking about cursing, everybody's cursing today. But can you have the kids TV and that? Who cares? I'll be dead by the time they're thirty anyway. But you know, you know where it started in Manhattan. All the curse. You ever go over there? Excuse me. I'm with my family here. How do you get that Rockefeller Center? You know what? Rockefeller fucking center. <laughs> Uh, you're on 40 fucking second street, and you never fucking like the fifth fucking avenue. It's all about five fucking blocks. Uh, you make fucking left, fucking right, fucking left, fucking right. And my fellow fucking said the right fucking there. You got it? Yeah, well, uh, thank you, officer. I'm afraid to go to confession and say, Patrick's the three drugs. Three times in 15 bucks. I'm like, 20 bucks now. I said, keep your hands out of all the water you fucking pay. You get a little scared, you know, you don't know who the hell to trust anymore. How long have I been up here? Five hours? No, I got another 15 hours to go. This is a marathon, so I hope you brought your own alcohol. Where do they do? You ever see these mafia movies? I wonder how many underwear they go through a week. Hey, Vito, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is just joking around. I don't want to joke around with that. I feel like I'm in a police lineup here. Jesus Christ. Police lineup. Somebody exposed himself. Man, is that the one who exposed himself? I don't know. How to step forward? Number eight. Step forward. Oh, man, is that him? I don't know. I can see his face. I haven't taken it out. All right, take it out. Take what out? You know what you're here for. There's something new we're doing. That's how we catch you guys. A bunch of pigs. Take it out. Well, man, is that him? I don't know. I haven't turned to the side. All right, turn to the side. Turn to the side. Should have painted a mustache on. 
Turn to the side. Say, man, I don't know how I'm waving around. <laughs> All right, wave around. That's the one, that's the one. No, well, well, maybe someday that's what you're doing to find all these pigs. A bunch of pigs. You know what I like to do when I go to New York City? I, I, I like doing this here. Uh, Stay home all the time and mend underwear and like sew socks and cook. This fork, I'm like this. This fork. Fuck who the Godfather? Did I hear that? I'm having a big need. We're all down, it's from all over the country. When we hear fun rule the Godfather? You never tell anybody outside the family what you're thinking again. You keep your friends close, but your enemies also. <laughs> what about the show you're in the riddles? I get the same party dress out for 30 years. Where are you going to take me out? Take me out to see Connie Francis, uh, Madonna, and Woody and the Goldfish. <laughs> take me out! You take me out! Look at yourself. Look like George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I got me the hell I want you. <laughs> I'm telling you, should have rehearsed. Take me out! <laughs> Said that already. Thank you, Al. <laughs> Thank you, Al. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Mm. If I take you out, who's going to take care of the kids? The kids! The kids are dead! 
Thank you. Thank you. I forgot to take these out on my last show, and I'm driving home in a cop stop. What's the matter, man? Sorry. It's with a pump here. How's Peter? You know, all right. How's the party we had? Yeah, yeah, I understand, man. I forgot to take these out last night, and the cop stops me on the way home. This is my cousin. This is my cousin. No, they just keep going. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let me take these out and throw it together. I don't like to do disgusting things. But when, when I heard this on TV, I went and it was Discovery Channel. It's about guys in Europe that work up in the mountains and they take care of sheep for months without a woman, just with the sheep. They didn't show you, but you know they were suggesting. And I said, "Come on, sheep." Four-legged sheep? I mean, come on! I'm, I'm going to do it. Uh, I think I think they were trying to show. They were trying to show this here. Where the hell's that sheep now? There you go. Uh, nine. Okay. There you go. Here's what they were trying to say. ship thing I wanted to send them to, but I don't think I'm going to send this tape. They old people or whatever I don't screw. You know, they, you, 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 you screw up on the cruise ship, they just throw you overboard. Think about it, you know, the wheelchair and all that off the goddamn side. They don't fool around. Now, I'll see you next week. You're out on a boat by itself to China. I don't think that's in China yet. I do one of my favorite movie actors. I don't know if everybody knows him. He's a legendary actor. He passed away. I like to do Robert Mitchum singing. You remember him? Singing. No, 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 no. No sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Anyone else but me? Anyone else but me? No, no, no. Oh, so under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Well, I come marching home. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Thank you. That was why I made some beef. Now I like to do that. Beef. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what, what a terrible scene he had to do. He must have got made fun of the rest of his life. Those underwear and that chubby body. <laughs> oh, I do not believe that. Yeah, remember that? that was, I don't know if I would have done that. I don't know like that. Squeal like a pig. Me, me, me. Straight off his stomach. Me. Well, man. Before I get off the stage, before I get off, you know, we had a, a, a Chippendale dancer here. A young guy. But he had to leave, but he started a little late. 
they asked me if I would do it. And uh, I said, yeah, what the hell? And I could call you home and said, yeah. So I, I'm going to do it. I, I'm in a little bit of shape. I, I think I to get all my facilities. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, guess, I, I guess I'm the oldest Chippendale dancer. And uh, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 